Hi, my name is Amy and welcome to Flip It Furniture. Today I want to share with you how I update this table. If you like or find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe. Let's flip it! First I sand down the entire tabletop and all four sides. This is a pretty long process. It actually takes me about four hours to do. When I finish sanding my table, I apply one coat of this Barathane stain. It's actually fast drying stain, so it dried within probably two minutes. Here I want to show you my brush. I use a stain brush, it's just one from Home Depot that I picked up and I love it. I have about four of them. I use my poly with it and I also use my stains. Um, it's a really quick cleanup with mineral spirits but it covers a lot and I feel like it gets really good coverage so I love this brush. So here I finish up applying my stain and I go to wipe it back. But it's already really, really dry. And I actually don't like the way that the stain looks. It's so thick and blue. So I'm gonna take my mineral spirits and just wipe it down. Um, the mineral spirits will help thin the stain a little bit so I can see that beautiful wood grain. I brought my table in the house, I painted the inside of the legs, and I put the legs back on the table. Now I use my mixture of Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner, and I wash down the entire table with my rag. After using Dixie Belle's White Lightning, I have to go with my water mister and make sure there's no leftover residue from that cleaner. Here I'm mixing up for my white wash. I have a more in-depth video on white washing. I'll leave the link in the description down below. My mixture is pretty watered down. I only want to brighten the table a tad. Now I go in and spot add the wash, wherever I feel like it needs a little something extra. Here's where I add my first coat of chalk paint.
I always use my water mister with chalk paint, no matter the brand. I just feel like it goes on a lot smoother and more even. Here I want to show you my first coat. It looks sloppy, but I'm really not worried about it. This is my second coat. It's going on pretty smooth and I'm getting a lot of coverage. I wait a couple hours between coats and at this point I know I'm probably gonna need another coat. I'm kind of feeling like I should have primed first and I always use Dixie Belle Boss Primer for any chalk paint job that I do when I do white. But for this one I didn't, I figured two or three coats would be fine. So here I am, my second coat is dry and I'm about to apply the third coat to the entire table. As you can see, I'm getting great coverage, so I'm only gonna need three coats. Now I wanna seal the top. I use this triple thick polyurethane, it's water-based, and I love it for any kind of tabletop or dresser top or nightstand top. It's pretty thick, but it goes on so smooth. I would do at least two coats of this, but since I'm keeping this table and I know that I have kids at my house a lot, I'm going to use probably three or four, maybe even five, just to be on the safe side. My sealer is a satin finish, and you can already see that it's making it nice and shiny. It's really pulling the color together, giving it a great look. At this point, the entire base of my table is dry and I've used three coats all together. So now I want to make sure that I have no brush strokes. I'm gonna use my sanding pad and gently go over the entire table. Um, I don't want to distress, so I'm not going to go hard. I want to leave it just a nice crisp white for now. This method of sanding afterwards is really great because it truly leaves a nice smooth finish. My last step in this entire process is to seal the base. I use two coats of my water-based polyurethane and it's not the triple thick. It's just a regular one. And I wanted to show, because I know a lot of people have a hard time with streaks. Um, you can actually see, see the top there is a little darker. So I just dip my brush back in and add more. This polyurethane is a lot more forgiving than other ones. That's why I do use it a lot. 